Everyone's different here at the Canopy Workspace, different organisations, projects and specialisms. But here inside the Entopia building, there's also a common goal that brings us together. There's a collective desire to accelerate change and sustainability is at the heart of it. The Canopy is all about collaboration, a community sharing and learning from each other's experiences. And this is Canopy Connect, a podcast where you can get to know your fellow members at the Canopy. This time on the podcast. Hi, I'm Francesca Kennedy Woolbank. I am the co CEO of Carbon Bright. So let's connect. So let me tell you a bit about Carbon Bright. We are a B2B SaaS platform that automates lifecycle assessments. So what does that actually mean? Well, my background is actually at Unilever. I was working there for about seven years in supply chain, sustainability and marketing. And through that process, really wanted to understand the impact of individual products and realize that today's methods make it really challenging. It's uh, usually done by consultants with 70% of their time taken up by data collection. It's expensive, about 25,000 pounds per product, and it takes about 12 weeks. And that made me really annoyed because that's a $1 billion problem for a company like Unilever with 77,000 products, and therefore it's never gonna become commonplace. So at Carbon Bright, we wanted to solve that data problem and we are creating a platform that basically goes out and collects this data from 100,000 different data sources and counting. It's basically creating a digital supply chain of a product. It then uses machine learning models. So we utilize AI and within that we're building different models to predict for example, how ingredients are transported. We're modeling tr emission factors at scale. We're predicting where factories are and the emissions of factories. And then we display that in a B2B SaaS platform. And then what that's enabling people to do is yeah, obviously understand their product level emissions, but they can use that for uh, redesigning products. So our mission is to decarbonize supply chains at scale. So once you have a baseline and understand the carbon footprint of your scope three, which is by the way, for consumer packaged goods, about 97% of their emissions, they're able to start redesigning products at the right level. So supplier level through procurement, through changing transport lanes, moving from say sea to rail or say air freight to rail is more likely. But on top of that, it also enables them to make sustainability marketing claims because they have the data there to back it up. And also this can be used for reporting. So our focus is 100% on consumer packaged goods. And to start with, we're very much focused on home care, beauty and personal care products. So Carbon Bright was actually founded at the Carbon 13 Accelerator here in Cambridge. I joined the program from a referral from my Prince's Trust mentor at the time and went into the program with a, a slight idea of, look, let's try and do this at scale. And I met very quickly my co-founder, David. He's based in the US, but he came over, loved the idea and had a kind of inkling um, that this was the place to go in supply chain decarbonization. We then decided to leave that program at the second stage as we didn't have the, the right team around us. I don't know if you know the program, there's a hundred people that go in and you have to meet your core team. So we went out, we found a CTO externally. Um, finding the right people to build the team is really core. It's important. So we took a lot of time speaking to about five different people we trialed in the end until we came across Thajas, who is our CTO. And he's a great addition. His background is in big data, you know, two decades of experience in machine learning, AI. So great addition. And us three now are the the core co-founders of Carbon Bright. Success to Carbon Bright is meeting our big mission and vision. We wanna be the data provider behind every purchasing decision that someone makes. So you're going into Tesco, you see Carbon Bright's information, pre going in, you're gonna be notified with better products using our data, you're at point of sale, it's not there yet, but we're gonna be involved in the carbon labeling that potentially is there 
then you sale, you're going to hear about better products to buy on your app, the Tesco Club Card app. That's our big vision. So success to us is working with a client such as our lead retailer. First of all, helping them with their strategy. So, okay, we, we do the full product environmental footprints across the whole scale of your SKUs, all of your products. From that, we then to give you hotspot analysis. So we say, these are the key areas that you need to be focused on. For example, one of our clients is very focused on packaging right now, spending a lot of money on these, but actually that isn't the key area they should be focused on. And so it's just educating them that actually you need to be focused more on maybe cons consumer use in home care, that's the biggest bit, or maybe your raw materials. So it's re-educating them just to start with. It's working with them on the individual categories and saying, you know, showing them this is a better supplier, this is a better raw ingredient, this is a better transport route. So helping them with that decarbonisation story, utilising our platform, and then ending with greener products that sell more, that sell faster that can be priced more expensively because they are more sustainable so that is the ultimate game for now our focus is to get revenue in the short term so six months we're aiming for a hundred thousand arr which means that we are collaborating with small to medium-sized brands to start with within a year we want to be onboarding a large corporate so our focus is the unilevers l'oreal's pngs of the world and getting them on board so very customer focus as you can hear but at the same time for us partnerships are really key so we have a full partnership strategy and we would love to land a key partner so, you know, RAP, ACLCA, Microsoft, we're working with tech partners as well. So that is also on the roadmap. Um, and then a five year plan would be um, working in our space with a partner potentially um, like Fujitsu and um, looking to make the biggest change and difference we can. I know I'd love to meet a lot of the canopy members that'd be great i am based in surrey so i come to cambridge and to the canopy building once a month but i would love to meet you all so the best way to contact me is via linkedin it's francesca kennedy warbank as far as i know i am the only one on there um, but you can also email me it's francesca at carbonbright.co otherwise you can visit our website and use our contact form as uh, I wear many hats, I am the one replying to those. But, you know, if I am in the building, please do come say hi. I'm a friendly face. Obviously, the canopy is filled with such amazing people. And we would love to meet literally <laughs> as many people as possible because... In our line of work, there are at one level that could be, we need a data partnerships, so we need someone that's really into tech or knows how to collect data at scale. Then we need someone who really knows supply chains. So if you're someone that understands the details of uh, making a supply chain and creating it into a digital twin, then all the way to someone that's embedded in the FMCG industry, who knows people in retailers, super drug boots or Tesco, et cetera, all the way to maybe you are a storyteller because we're working with brands that actually don't know how to discuss their sustainability outwardly using our data so honestly at every level there are different people that we could be introduced to even when we're talking about agri-tech because we we're gathering data from at farm level as well also i'm a great connector i have a big network and i love to also connect people so maybe i could help you as well thanks for checking out this episode of canopy connect Log in to your office R&D profile to connect with your Canopy neighbours. Just head to the members page and find them. This is a Canopy podcast made by New Allotment. The Canopy is part of Cambridge Institute for Sustainability Leadership. Thank you for listening.